be good. Jeez, I'm talking I love this man. Place. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up? I'm so glad you're joining us today. Welcome to Good News To Go. We're at our favorite little pizza shop, the Good News Pizza Cafe, and we're just mm. about to dig into a delicious pie. The best pizza there is. It is so good. Jordan, how you been doing, man? I've been doing good. How have you been doing? Jordan, what's up with that shirt, man? You like it? Yeah, it's a good looking shirt, but what's this big red button on the front that says pause? I don't know. It just kind of, it looks good. I thought it made my muscles pop what a little bit. I push it? Oh, this is so cool. Look at this thing. Whenever I touch the button, Jordan pauses. You know, and it just like, <laughs> how cool was that? What just happened? It's a pause button. It's a pause Whenever button? Whenever I push it, whatever you're doing, you just stop doing it. It's so cool. It is not I actually I promise do that. it absolutely Are works. You serious? <laughs> this is going to come in so handy today because, oh, hold on. Let me wake somebody up. This is going to come in so handy today, Jordan, because what I want to do is I want to read a Bible story for our friends that are at Bible school here. Yeah. And I want you to read it. And whenever I want you to stop, I'll just hit the pause button. Okay. Is that cool with you? You don't want to do it? Come on, man. It'll be fun. <laughs> this button Dude, is incredible. You cannot just be pressing this button anytime you want. I, I won't. I promise. Thank Listen, you. guys, this is going to be so much fun. Jordan, can you hardly wait? Do you love the kids? Just tell the kids right now how much you love them. Come on, man. This is getting a little awkward. Oh, I, I think I accidentally hit it with my elbow. You have to be more careful. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. You want to read through this story? Let's do it. Awesome. All right, guys, you can take your Bibles out at home and read along with us if you want to. We are going to be in the book of Luke, Matthew, Mark, Luke. In the New Testament, it's the third book. We're going to start in verse 1. Jordan, you read it for us, and whenever I want to explain it a little bit, I'm going to pause you just like that. And then whenever I want us to keep going, I'll hit the pause button again. All right, guys, when Jordan starts reading in Luke chapter 5, Jesus is standing there and people are pressing around him. That's who the he is in this story. Read it for us, Jordan. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake, but the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Washing their nets. Look what I got, guys. I got a net. This is probably a net similar to what they had. And these things, when you throw them out and you get them on top of fish, they get tangled up so easy. Look at this, how tangled they are. It is hard to fish with these things. But look, sometimes you catch a big one like that, and these things, they always get tangled. So these fishermen were untangling their nets after a long night of fishing. Sorry, Jordan. Oh, come on, John. <laughs> oh, sorry, man, I forgot about that. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and he asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have told all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the nets. Whenever these guys used to fish, they would fish at night. Peter and his friends had fished all night long and they hadn't caught anything. Jesus, after he got done preaching, he said, I want you to go out there and try fishing one more time. Peter thought this was a little bit crazy because there's no fish out there now. They would catch all their fish at night. But he did say, at your word, we'll give it a try. You can tell that Simon Peter had been listening to Jesus while he was preaching. And he's showing a little bit of faith here. I wonder what's going to happen. You think they're going to catch anything? And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were breaking. So they signaled to their partners in other boat to come help them. And they came and filled both boats, so they began to sink. Can you imagine catching so many fish that your boat starts to sink? Jesus was right. It was a miracle. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down on Jesus and he sang, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he had all and who were with him were astonished at the catch of the fish which they had taken. Whenever Simon Peter saw that they caught so many fish that the boat started to sink, he knew that a miracle had happened. And immediately, the first thing he thought of was what a sinner that he was. Sin is anything we do against God's holy character. We've all sinned. 
I've sinned, Jordan sinned, Ellie sinned. We've all sinned. Simon Peter knew that he was a sinner too. And he said, Jesus, go away from me. I'm a sinful man. But he didn't need Jesus to go away. He needed to draw Jesus close because if there's one thing that a sinner needs, it's a savior. And that's exactly who Jesus is. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. Man, what a story, Jordan. Don't you love that? That was good. They were out there fishing like crazy and couldn't catch anything. But after Jesus told them to go out there, he worked that incredible miracle. Not only did they catch a bunch of fish, they also mm -hmm. caught, yeah, they also became fishers of men. Do you mind reading one more little passage at the end of that? Because this is good news pizza to go. And I didn't really hear anything about going there. Read that last little bit. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. Oh man. That's when they good. brought their boats to land, after catching the biggest catch of fish ever, they forsook all. What in the world do you think forsook means? I'm not sure. What do you think it means? I know what it means. It means they left it all behind to follow Jesus. They made Jesus number one. Let me tell you something. They left a lot of stuff. Name one thing that they left behind. They left their businesses. They left their business. They had a fishing business and they left it. They were doing good. It was the best catch of fish they ever yeah. had. Their dad was in charge of this business. Mm -hmm. They left their family behind. They left their boats. They left their fish. They left everything, everything and made Jesus number one. They made Jesus their Lord. That's what making Jesus your Lord is. You make him number one, and that's what they did. And then they went. They went. They had the good news now, and they took it to go. To Listen, go. this is what we want. This is what this week is about. We want to know the good news that Jesus Christ came to this earth, lived a perfect life, to forgive sinners like me and like Jordan and like you. And if you put your faith in him, just like Simon Peter did, he will make you clean. If you make him the Lord of your life, oh, it's so wonderful. And you know it. And once you know the truth about Jesus, once you know the good news, you got to go. You got to go. I'm going to go. All right, see you later. <laughs> I love this power to be able to stop him whenever I want. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed our first day together. I cannot wait to meet tomorrow to talk about another person that took the good news of Jesus. Yeah.